A function that's been around for a while in Excel is called Roman, and it simply translates Arabic-type numerals, for example, like the ones we see in column A, also in column C. We're converting these into Roman numerals. So in cell D2, we see how this is working, equal Roman. I have accentuated this by making the entries here in Times New Roman font to suggest ancient Roman days, but that's not critical. And for the most part, this feature isn't critical, but it does come in handy at times for special kinds of titles. You want to display things this way, Super Bowls, that sort of thing. And uh, for years, we've had this Roman function, but occasionally, perhaps, user community is saying, give us a function that translates these into Arabic numbers. And by the way, if you are working with Roman numerals, here's a 3999. That's the highest value that can be handled by way of this technique. If we drag this down into the next cell, we get an error. So Roman can only handle the numbers 1 through 3,999. Let's take the case of some numbers here. Now, I just typed these in somewhat randomly, and I know that if I were really putting in a number here, I'm trying to type in, for example, a 46, a 47, something like this. I think a lot of you know this would not be the correct way to do it. But let's take a look at this function called Arabic, the new function in Excel 2013. Looking at this value right here, and what do we get? It comes up with a 46. Now, if you had a 46 and you asked Excel to come up with a Roman numeral equivalent of this, it would come up with the concise answer, not the one that you see in column F. So oddly enough, it takes almost any combinations of X's, L's, I's, V's, C's, D's, all the Roman numerals you may or may not be familiar with, and it makes an attempt to translate them. So even though these are not the standard way, I'll copy these down, and then just for comparison, let's see what the Roman numeral equivalent of those will be. And in all these cases here, it's somewhat more concise. Now, actually, those are different, but we come up with the same answer. If you type in a number like this, that represents 5,000. Now, we saw earlier how we have a limit of 3,999. What does the Arabic function do here? It actually gives us an answer. On the other hand, if we were trying to convert this into a Roman numeral display, Here's the Roman function, and we see what's happening there. So a little bit strange in how it handles those borders. But not a heavy-duty function, and most people don't use it for anything too sophisticated, mostly for titles, but it does come in handy, and we do have a new function in Excel 2013 called Arabic that allows us to translate those Roman numerals into Arabic-type numbers.